Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to fix the startup issue that leads Windows 10 or 11 to the automatic repair screen. This can be caused by many factors. So I'll share five different methods you can try to resolve the issue. Let's get started. The first method is to run the startup repair tool. So let's go to advanced options, then troubleshoot and select startup repair. This tool will diagnose and try to fix common issues that may be preventing your PC from booting up. If it doesn't work, you'll see a message stating that the startup repair couldn't fix your PC. The second method is to use a restore point. If you have a restore point created, it can bring your computer back to a working state. To check if this is enabled, let's go to advanced options, then troubleshoot, and select System Restore. Once you're in, the System Restore process will load. Click Next, and you'll see a list of available restore points. Select the most recent one, and click on Next. Confirm your selection by clicking on Finish, and this will return your system to a time when it was working. After the system restore completes successfully, restart your computer and log back in. You should see a confirmation message that the restore was successful and that your document were not affected. Hopefully this will resolve your issue. For the third method, we're going to use the check disk utility, which basically checks the integrity of your hard drive and can fix various file system errors. Let's click on the troubleshoot, then advanced options, then on the command prompt. In the command prompt, let's type chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r space c colon and press enter. Now you'll find all these commands I'm typing down in the descriptions box. Once the scan is complete, it will inform you if any errors were found. To see if it has fixed your issue, type exit to exit the command prompt and continue to your windows and see if it has fixed the issue. If it hasn't, don't worry, we'll try method four and five. For the fourth method, we'll be fixing the boot configuration data or BCD, which helps start windows. Let's go back to the command prompt and type disk part, then type list val to see all the volumes. Identify your C drive, which is usually volume one and the recovery partition. We need to select the recovery partition. So let's type SEL space VOL space zero. Now just replace the zero with the correct number for your recovery partition. Assign a drive letter by typing assign letter Z. Now type list val, and as you can see, volume zero have been assigned the Z letter. And now type exit. Now we need to rebuild the BCD with this command. BCD boot space C colon slash windows space forward slash s space z colon space forward slash f all and hit enter. This will initialize the system partition and copies the necessary boot files. Next, let's type boot rec space forward slash fix mbr. This will write a new master boot record. Then let's type boot rec space forward slash fix boot and this will write a new boot sector. And finally, let's type boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd. Now this will scan for Windows installation and build the bcd store. Once you've completed these commands, exit the command prompt and check if you can start Windows successfully. The fifth and the last method to try is to restore your registry. So open the command prompt 
First, you need to determine which drive your operating system is installed on. Type disk part, then list volume to see all the list of volumes. Now you need to identify your C drive. You should tell it's this one, which have a size of gigabyte instead of megabyte. Exit disk part and type C colon to switch to the C drive. Then type DIR to check for the Windows directory. Navigate to the Windows system configuration by typing CD space slash Windows slash system32 slash config and view the content by typing DIR. Create a backup directory by typing MD backup one, then copy the config files into the backup folder. Copy space star period star backup one. Now let's navigate to the registry backup folder by typing CD space reg back Type DIR to see the content. You should see five files with non-zero values. If any files shows a zero or if the folder is empty, exit the command prompt and return to the advanced option. If you see files with values or numbers, let's type copy space star period star space period period. This will override the existing registry files with the backup. Confirm the override by typing all and press enter. After the file have been restored, exit the command prompt and restart your computer to see if the issue has been resolved. Hopefully one of these methods will fix your issue. If it does, please let us know which one. And as always, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.